Well, it's just coming up to uh, 12.30 UTC. Uh, you're back on Solar Impulse TV live for a breaking news broadcast. And I have to say, personally, I'm starting to really hate clouds. That's my problem that I have to deal with, but I'm not alone because I think lots of people in the MCC are hating clouds. Why am I telling you this? Well, the flight that we'd be looking forward to tonight is not going to happen. So I repeat, we are not flying tonight. And uh, you may have seen the pre-flight show earlier. It was all looking fairly positive, but I have to say, even though it was positive, it wasn't looking easy, it was looking very complicated, and it seems those complications have uh, worsened such that the decision has been taken by management to uh, not fly tonight. Ray Moncler, the mission director, is here, one of those people who was involved in the final decision. Earlier today, we saw the briefing, and after the briefing finished, Ray, you stuck around to have a management chat to really make the final decision. Tell me what happened. Uh, so first of all, maybe you remember two hours ago, we had to delay the initial briefing and that was because we were dealing with uh, some worsening situation of the weather and uh, we were not ready for for the meeting at 10 o'clock, so we had to delay 30 minutes and then we went in this big meeting with uh, all the different parties and when we presented the different options, uh, we uh, the different problems, we rapidly uh, so that uh, it's going to be very difficult and uh, so then we decided to stop the big briefing and to go in a very short team with André, with Bertrand, also with uh, the uh, mission engineers, the head of mission engineer, flight directors and so on. And yeah, we have different, uh, different problems that uh, added make the risk too high. And the first problem was uh, day one, first day, so uh, over Nanjing and over the Sea of Japan, we have quite uh, Cyrus uh, clouds, which gives already the first day some uh, problematic. We have quite uh, strong li time limits. If we would be delayed by one hour, it would be difficult to have the energy in the evening. Uh, the second problem, uh, we came with the, the fact that the flight would take seven days and seven nights. Yeah, so we're looking at a long time over uh, what we've been expecting, maximum 120 hours. We're looking at a really, really long flight. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, if you have the change of the wind, a small change of the wind, it's uh, on 120 hours, if you increase by five minutes, uh, 120 times five minutes it's a lot huh? so and even uh, so maybe we could accept five and a half days six days but seven days is really risky because maybe we have to 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 make some more holding or so so this was also one of the reason we had to to say no and uh, another reason was uh, also for the situation if we would have to land due to a technical problem or so an emergency landing to make an emergency landing in Japan. Uh, this is uh, in our planning. We need to have this solution. Uh, I repeat for an emergency landing, but the weather for the alternate was not good enough. Finally, we will have very short window in the evening of D2. Uh, to, to land at Fukushima afterwards, uh, they will have fog, so the alternate solution will close, and then uh, we, we will have a big problem. So, considering all those different risks and so, we came to the conclusion that uh, it's not safe to, to do the flight. Now, this isn't the first potential weather window we've had over the last five weeks, but this is the closest we've come uh, to, to giving a go for the Pacific. And uh, uh, what's the strategy now within the team? I know this is very fresh news, but I don't know how much time you've had to talk to everyone about this, but uh, what are you planning from now on? Well, I, I had no time uh, for, for discussing uh, with the team, but uh, if I look on my right, I see already the uh, meteorologists, they are working to see uh, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, because we, we had no possibility to work on this flight. It was so intense, the work, that we didn't cover the next options. But uh, we'll see in a few hours if uh, there is a chance to, to have a possible takeoff tomorrow or the day after or so. Uh, because the plan will not change in just... Uh, but we, we need to find another good takeoff window for Nanjing. And I guess tomorrow, so which means Wednesday in China is not so good for takeoff, but uh, this, this is my, my guess from yesterday. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so just to sum up then, what we're looking at is a situation where weather conditions are on a whole host of uh, problems. A perfect storm, if you'll excuse the expression, all came together to mean that we cannot uh, fly tonight as we had hoped. And really from now on, Ray, it seems that we have to maintain a certain level of readiness so that we can uh, keep looking at different solutions and be ready to go as soon as possible. Yeah, no rest for us. We'll keep no, going. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Ray. I'll let you get back to the team and, uh, yeah. and speak to all of them. And uh, you've been listening to a special breaking news update. And I will say it again: we will not be flying tonight. Do stay with us on SolarImpulse.com. Keep checking for updates because uh, we are looking at the most difficult flight we've ever done. This is really, really a hard flight that. Uh, is uh, it's going to be difficult whatever happens, even if the weather's perfect. Uh, so check out the social networks. We're on Twitter. That's where we're sending out most of our information. We're getting regular updates on Twitter and on Facebook, of course. And uh, you can access all of uh, these via our website, solarimpulse.com.